it's all good, all good. Good shot. Perfect, perfect. Uh, just what's it been like this whole off season? I mean, from the, the end of last season to now, mm -hmm. just uh, I guess a lot has changed. Oh man, a lot has changed. It's been hectic, but um, I've stayed busy, and I mean, it's been blessing after blessing. And uh, to get to this point has been amazing, but it's only the starting point for me. Do you feel anything when you uh, put that uniform on today? And yeah, it was a you know it was a great feeling finally putting on the NBA jersey. Um, you know, not a lot of people get to do it, not a lot of basketball players. So uh, to know that I'm here, uh, being able to put this on is a great honor. I'm sure you follow these guys from, you know, in Auburn. Right? Yeah, yeah. So what do you remember? What, do you have a favorite memory? Or? Um, just, you know, growing up, local kid, coming to the games. Uh, we would come out a couple times a year and just being able to know that an NBA team's in my city and then being able to play for them is amazing. Who favorite player? Oh, go favorite back. player back in the day? Uh, not really. We'll go with Chris Webber though. <laughs> yeah, <Webber>. yeah. <laughs> what, what, what has been your approach just to the off season and getting ready for this day and mm -hmm. tomorrow in the training camp and mm -hmm. traveling to India? What's been your mental approach to understand like, yo, this is my chance to do something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, just get better. Every time I step in the gym, get a little better. Um, and I've been here working out with the guys for the past two weeks um, and trying to learn as much as possible. Uh, you know, we have some vets this year um, that have been in the league a long time and just trying to ask them a lot of questions and learn as much as I can and just get better every day. Is there anybody in the organization that's really, you know, you bonded with that's, that's helped you along just in this initial period of, you know? Yeah, no, there's some coaches. Uh, Drake Yuyu has been, I mean, in constant communication with him and then I've been trying to talk to Ariza as much as I can, you know, pick his brain and just ask him why he did that and just see the shots that he's taking. I got to tell you, I was looking in my sports file for your name to see what I could find from high school. And I found some pretty good football highlights. <laughs> yeah. You were pretty good, huh? Yeah, I was okay. I was solid. Yeah. Now, Placer, uh, they breed good football teams up there. Yeah, you, you miss playing that game at all? Was that ever in the back of your mind? Maybe I want to play football? Uh, a little, you know, there's no feeling like uh, going out, walking out to the football field before a game, but uh, I know I made the right choice, st uh, sticking with basketball. I know Jim asked a minute ago when you put that jersey on, is the sense of pride you get, but coming in here, did you almost kind of like pinch yourself a little bit, just having that, that experience of being on this NBA team? Yeah, you know, it's a little surreal because uh, growing up, you know, it's always been a dream, but a couple years ago, this wasn't in, you know, this wasn't, no one could have predicted this, but, you know, I've worked hard and uh, to get to this point. So it's definitely a proud moment for you me. Feel like you belong now, right? Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. What, do you, what, what, go ahead. what do you feel like your, your realistic expectations are for, for this season, whether it's, it's here or somewhere else, or just like, mm -hmm. getting on an NBA roster and sticking and everything else? Uh, you know, just learning as much as I can. You know, it's, it's a marathon and whatever happens this year, I know what I bring to the table. Um, and I know sticking on an NBA team is an extremely hard thing to do, but um, it's a journey and it's just begun for me, you know? And so learn as much as I can at each stop and play as hard as I can. What's the dialogue been like between friends and family like today, yesterday, this just, week? Just, yeah, it's crazy, you know, knowing that I'm here um, and it's just surreal. People already hitting you up for tickets? Nah, 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 <laughs> not yet. <laughs> How much did you enjoy just kind of the being that surprise factor for Kings fans here in the summer league where all of a sudden you know you made the most of your opportunity when, when the, maybe you weren't going to play in a game and Jesse goes hey we're going to put him in now mm -hmm. and then you automatically produce yeah no it's I mean it's been great you know uh, uh, that's what it has to be you know if my number gets called I have to produce and so uh, to be able to do that in front of the Kings fans in my hometown is amazing cool appreciate you sir. thank you yeah, thank man. you appreciate that thanks much thank you